he made that final history-making touchdown in last week's Super Bowl. Please welcome New England Patriots running back James White. <laughs> You made the touchdown. Let's remind everyone what that touchdown looked like. Take a look. <laughs> Come on. Toss the white. Up. Up. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Patriots win the Super Bowl. <laughs> okay. I'm always shocked that you guys don't get more injured hugging each other than <laughs> tackling each other. We're actually pretty surprised, too. I mean, everybody gets really into that, and it's just fun celebrating with your teammates. It still feels surreal to me. I can't. That doesn't get old, yeah, right? It, it doesn't get old. I, I, I get nervous watching every time I see it. Like, like, I don't know what happens. You scored three <laughs> touchdowns. Yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> team is dead in the water. Dead. There wouldn't no, be right. the Patriots. <laughs> no, 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 no. In fact, in fact you know, Tom Brady, MVP. <laughs> off, yeah, well, a few people back here. <laughs> but he actually said the real MVP is sitting right here, which I thought was an extraordinary. I mean, it, it's definitely cool to hear him say that, but I wouldn't have the performance I had if it wasn't for him catching 14 passes. Those are all coming from him. I mean, we wouldn't have been in that position without him. He's definitely our leader. And just a great teammate and a great guy to have on your team. I mean, first Super Bowl to go into overtime. Right. Uh, biggest deficit to come back from in Super Bowl history. I mean, this was sort of an extraordinary. We couldn't believe it. We, no. We don't we, spend all of our time together, but we actually we were watching, the, we Super were watching the Super Bowl we, together. We were watching the Super Bowl together. You know, and Mark's like, you know, talking us through the whole thing. It, uh, yeah, because we were like, what's happening <laughs> no, now? But, but <laughs> it, was, it was really, it was a surreal thing. And, and when you're doing that, I'm I just curious, what, what goes through the mind when you know that you're, you, you can finish the game right here in this moment? Well, for us, um, we know we were down by a lot of points. I just stopped looking at the scoreboard after, after a while, and I knew if the defense continued to stop their offense and we continued to score points, we continue to get, in, get more into the game, and eventually we were in striking distance. And once Hightower got that strip sack, I think that really gave us all the energy we needed, and we got the ball first in overtime. That's what I said, the strip sack. Yeah, strip sack. Really. <laughs> <laughs> you did. I was like, this is the... This is the pivotal yeah, moment. You were like, point. right. I'm in. I'm back. You had an incredible victory parade in Boston. And those Boston fans. Oh, my God. Do you love that? <laughs> is that drunk? Yeah, it's drunk. Right? We're having a great time. Anna. That is, you know, I have to say, the, 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 the fans in Boston and New England are like nothing you've ever yeah. seen before. I used to do the news in Boston. Yeah. And, right? I used, to, I used to live on Tremont Street, and the parade would go right in front of my oh, house. Fun. It was the most amazing thing. But you can speak to the fans of New England. Like, there's I mean, nothing like them. There's nothing like them. Um, home or away. I mean, some, some away games, there's more Patriot fans than some of the home That's team fans. True. So it's, it's pretty crazy to see. We have the best fans in the country, and they travel everywhere and that, that parade was everything and you got I, mean, to I wish to, I can go back and do it again. You got to, but you got to do another parade right after that parade that also seemed pretty wild. Yeah. 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 A little wardrobe change. Yeah. That's kind of nice. Yeah. Right? Uh, Take uh, off the winter coat for a few minutes and like put on the shorts, that, hang out with the mouse. That was a, that was a really cool experience. I'm, I'm from Florida so I've been to Disney World plenty of times but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but that was a totally different experience and something I'll remember forever. There's plenty of Patriot fans there, too, so, I mean, it's just a cool experience. It's so funny. I'm looking at you, and you look like a teenager. And I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking okay. about, like, you as a kid playing, and, and uh, one of your teammates, Edelman, was here last week, and I asked him the same question. When you were a kid and you were on, like, a peewee football league or whatever, did you dream about winning a Super Bowl? You, you definitely dream about it, um... And I thought about it. As soon as they called the play in overtime and I knew I was getting the ball, I felt like everything went into slow motion. I was like, I'm really about yeah. to get a ball, to get a chance to win this game with the ball in my hands. And I was just going to find any way to get the ball in the end zone. And when I scored, I, I didn't know what to do. I was just running around. It was slow motion. Yeah. I love how it describes that. Yeah. Kelly says it looks like we're looking at a baby here. You're 25, two <laughs> Super Bowl rings. Wow. I mean, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> A nice fancy new truck on his show, yeah, right? He gave budget, it like a yeah. big yeah. truck. We uh, 
we didn't want him to be the only talk show to give you a vehicle, so we got you one too. <laughs> That's, uh, I want you to know, I want you to understand something. That is all the budget. I'm not even, we spent the entire budget. Thank you for that. Congratulations. James White from the